Good morning from Panhandle Outdoors, America's only daily outdoor TV show. Your source for fishing, hunting, and information for folks who enjoy the great outdoors. Now sit back, relax. It's Panhandle Outdoors. Good morning, folks. Welcome to Panhandle Outdoors. I'm Winston Chester. Glad to hear this Tuesday morning. Got a big show lined up. Some good video from our tournament this past Saturday. But first, let's take care of our weather. Brought to us by Gulf Coast Air Conditioning, Drew Potter and his group up there. And we've got some uh, a big announcement to make for them coming up this week. So let's go ahead and talk about how high it's going to be today. How about 85, low 74, water temperature 82.8, just a little bit, 82.8. Now the big deal is we've got this front coming in maybe sometime tomorrow. We're going to get some cooler, drier weather. Let me repeat that. Some cooler drier weather is coming in according to our local meteorologist so and i've been watching it so it does look good so it's going to be exciting times who never be excited about getting cooler and drier weather riverine brought to us by mountain dew on the outdoors with mountain dew looking at Apalachicola at bluntstown is a 10.2 and the choctaw at caraville is right at 11 foot so we're going, to, uh, you know, we're going to go up a little bit more, and it's going to start settling down a little bit, getting that fall pattern, and it's going to be good once it gets that fall pattern. It will be a little bit lower. There's going to be some good freshwater fishing in this fall on these rivers. I can promise you. I can guarantee you that. Tide Sharp brought to us by Kent Forest Lawn. As we said yesterday, it's not a good week for tides. I've uh, got neap tides coming in the next couple of days, and there's not a lot going on. But our wind direction now will be coming out of west, southwest at 8, it's going to switch around once this front comes through. It's going to swing all the way around and start coming out of the northwest. That's going to be bringing the cooler air. And a lot of, a lot of things happen in nature uh, when those fronts and when these fall fronts start coming through. It, it happens in the, in the woods and in the water. Just a little simple things, a little temperature drop and a little bit of coolness and just start seeing some different activity from our fish and our animals. All right, let's take a break. We'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. I've got a couple of pictures. I'm, I've got a lot of pictures coming in over the weekend and yesterday even, and, and I'm sort of spreading them out. So if you send some pictures, I don't show them right away. It's because I try to just spread them out and keep them interesting. And there's some, I appreciate y'all sending them in. Some really good stuff that we've gotten. I want to start off with uh, this one right here. Now, sometimes I just pick stuff up that I think you would understand. This is me checking the yard to see if I can mow today. This is so true. So many people tell them, including myself, in the same situation. This is flat out too wet to mow, especially in the low areas. It's just either wet, the grass is wet. I talked to my nephew yesterday, and he mowed half the yard, had to quit mowing. He had a big old yard, mower just sitting out there. How about Mike Price? My buddy Mike Price, his son Aiden, with a king. This is some of the first kings coming in. And Aiden sure is growing, Mike, but it's a good to y'all got out there on a calm day the last couple of days, so good job, Aiden Price. Richard Wade has sent this. I don't know the details on it, but I can tell by the eyes. I, I think it's sort of uh, not in a living stage right now, but he got it picked up. Those, uh, I think he's going to save this and eat some uh, rattlesnake steak. Thank you, Richard. This, and I don't post a lot of job openings, but I ran across this. This is uh, the hiring, and the reason I'm going to tell you why. I, I'm posting this one, a, a fish and wildlife technician. That's an entry level job with the FWC. And it's a fun kind of job because I read about it. And it's uh, the salary, uh, anyway, what you do, what, what's cool about it right here. You're going to be working at Howard Creek. Now, is that not cool? And uh, salary 27000 uh, that's an entry level job, 27000 anyway. Uh, check that out, and you do all kind of things. Uh, I, was, I was reading the, the description. You just uh, do all kind of things uh, with the fish and wildlife, uh, just doing some fun things. Okay, uh, I got one more picture here. Let's see, Tess Randall Jolly, our outdoor photographer. This book's antler spread gives new meaning to a tight rack, and isn't that interesting? That she captured that, but I just marvel, and I talk about it all the time the clarity she gets in her pictures and the angles and the shadows and everything she does. So she's one of the tops in, in America, in my opinion, of wildlife photography. Uh, the girl, girl take care of her hummingbirds. She don't like me to show this stuff, but she, she loves her hummingbirds. And uh, 
it's been fun, okay? Uh, it, it's enjoyable taking care of the birds and, and feeding them and all, watching the pattern, but the hummingbirds came in, came back in uh, maybe a couple weeks ago, and we have different little, we always experiment different little, uh, she has the same formula, but we put stuff in different locations, the old feeders and new feeders, and, and they have this habit, and it, it's interesting, I think all animals, I think humans do it. You go to what you're comfortable with, and a lot of can be said about that when you're hunting and fishing. You go to that area you're comfortable, you think something's gonna happen there. And if you're an animal, you go to the area you think you're safe and comfortable. And these hummingbirds go to that, the oldest feeder we got, they'll go to that same feeder every time. <laughs> okay, we're gonna take a break, come back, set up this video. Okay, welcome back. Got a couple of quick pictures I still want to show you on the great football game this past Saturday of the Florida Alabama football game. I know a lot of folks enjoyed it. It's just a well, well played football game. And but I uh, got this picture I want to share with you. This is before the game, and this is the Florida players kneeling before the game. Up here in the corner, it's the Alabama players kneeling and praying before the game. And I just uh, out of the whole afternoon, this is one of the most uh, just best picture of all to me. Just seeing these guys. Uh, say a prayer before the game. So congratulations on both teams doing that. So, okay, and then one other picture. I want to set up the, uh, the, the video where our Sun Jammers and had a big tournament and, and it was a really uh, well fished tournament. The weather turned out pretty good. So everybody had a good time. And uh, I think uh, uh, I was there about three hours. I ran and met some folks. I want to show you, uh, met some folks, some of my viewers, check this out. This, I ran into Lisa, Lisa Siona, and her husband, Tony, watch the show every morning over there in South Walton, over there off 30A. And Lisa was there with her best friend, Carol Lauderdale. They've been friends since elementary school. They're from Memphis, Tennessee, but moved down here about four years ago. And they're just big fans of, uh, of Panhandle Outdoors. I had a, just a pleasant talk and just really enjoyed meeting them. Tony is now a member of the Bent Rod Fishing Club up there, over there in Walton County. So good for JB and all you guys recruiting Tony. So uh, anyway, so getting to the tournament, we had some quality time spent, some good volunteer folks come up there and do some things and raise some good money for Seasons of Hope and for Darby Gay. So we got this video, then we're going to come back and, and, and talk about a little, little bit later about what happened. So Jeff, let's roll this. All right, folks, just walked through the Sun Jammers. We got a big tournament today. Can you see Michael and uh, get ready for Seasons of Hope tournament? And this young lady came up to me and I got a new friend. I'm so excited. So tell the folks who you are and how you met me. My name is Lisa Ciano. I'm originally from Memphis and I live in Blue Mountain Beach on 30A now. And I'm a fan. I'm not just a new friend. I'm a fan. And my husband is a huge fan. We watch your show every day. Faithfully we tape it so we don't miss it. Well, that is and awesome. we love it. So we have enjoyed your show for the four years that we have lived here. And uh, we're fans. And she's really pumping up my ego now. I mean, this is this is great. I feel so good now. You are almost school teacher. Right. Talk right. school how long? I have 35 years. In Memphis, Tennessee. In Memphis, Tennessee, public education. I was a marketing teacher by trade. Awesome. So, like I said, everything that you do in your show, you know, it's just like we eat it up. We eat it up. It'll okay. be like a textbook. Okay. Right. You're part of my public relations team. Sure. Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you so much. So good to meet you. Thank you. Thank you for watching the show. Thank you. It was a pleasure. It was a wonderful bonus to walk into this great store and meet you. So thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Right. Who I am? Hey everybody, I'm Brad with Sun Jammers. Oh, you nice already to, knew that, didn't you? Nice to meet you, Brad. Hey, nice <laughs> to meet y'all. How long you had Sun Jammers? Um, too long. 23 <laughs> years. We started in 99, so I guess it's just 22 years and I'm a little slow. Okay. <laughs> Brad does a lot for others. He does for us, he does the bottle tournament and everything. I think I'm surprised for you, my friend, for everything you do for others. What you got? No. I was oh. going to win this in a raffle. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Check this. Look at that. Wow. You have one raffle, but that one's yours. Do you really? That is awesome. Well, thank y'all. We appreciate it. This you. is um, very, very unexpected. And here in a second, y'all are going to be able to hear Ron Pepperell play. Okay. I don't know where Ron is, but he just got voluntold. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Thank y'all. Very well deserved. Very well. Deserved. You help a lot of folks out. <laughs> Thank y'all. All right, here's Sun Jammers. 
Get the way in going. Got our first, got our first fish being weighed. Check it out. I think we're going to weigh like two trout. Or you want to weigh one for, you know what? I got the scary two. Two trout. Two trout weigh. Two trout weigh, okay. Who caught the biggest fish? Brian. Brian. <laughs> that guy over there. <laughs> <laughs> I can't That's I saw that guy throwing a net. Uh, and, and he put some trot lines, trot lines out earlier. Today. Oh, okay. Yeah. I said I caught a big one. Huh? I don't know why they call them trot lines. <laughs> trot lines. Don't tell them what's happening. You got a good one. in Pensacola and they're like do you know where you're at I'm supposed to be at home somebody needs to find my wife <laughs> 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 I know this group. <laughs> oh, she's. And my husband's coming too. He has one of them. We know this group. We know that. We know this team. That's right. <laughs> Do we know who's fishing? Hey, you picked right. <laughs> Calibrated that. There you go. Is that all the women? Yeah, that was for Derek. D E R R I C K. Let's get another mullet out of the dam. Let's make it. All right, we'll go. Thank you. you go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It was still fun. Still fun. Yeah, it was a good thing. Yeah. yeah. We had a good day on the, the colors on the red fish right there. Oh, oh, they're bronze. Oh, 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 that one was the one that he had was. Oh, yep. Yeah. Right under the belly. Oh, yeah. Even yeah. the belly was that one. Y'all talking about the color of the red fish. They're just bronze looking. I mean, oh, yeah. 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 Uh, like goldfish. Yeah. Yeah, no good. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. They're some of the prettiest ones I've ever seen. Yeah. Yeah. And you caught, well, how many? You were a little bit undersized? A little bit undersized, 13 spots. 13 spots. Oh. Yeah, you couldn't stretch them out. Couldn't uh -oh. stretch them out. We got them. Uh oh. Uh -oh. oh. Oh, All right, here we go. This is a kids division spot. And I'm gonna argue that it has three. So, uh, right there. Did you see that hammerhead I caught? Yes. Yes, I did. That was cool. <laughs> All right, getting closer. What is it? You okay? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Twenty-seven and a quarter inch. Make them look big. <laughs> Twenty-seven and a quarter. What? We had so much rain when we were fishing. We had a little bit of good weather right right before we had to leave. So we tried pushing as hard as we could to try to get one to go with that. Um, maybe a big fish, but couldn't do it. We well, had a good day of fishing. So, okay. Wait, yeah. What was it? Five, five, first place trap. I go and get the new stuff? Uh, 
Welcome back. Let's take a look at our fishing game time today, brought to us by Blue Water Outriggers in Port St. Joe. We're looking at 12-16 to 2-16, middle of the day with a full moon last night. That's what has, that's how it happens. Uh, two quick notes on, on the tournament. First of all, Sun Jam where Brad was smiling, and Brad's coming back on the show soon. Brad was smiling. Folks, uh, you can talk about advertising or not, but I know on Saturday, uh, Sun Jammer so not three, not four, not seven, but ten kayaks Saturday. That's that's pretty all gone good. So we we appreciate Sun Jammers hosting that tournament and, and doing good things. And you see what happens when you do good things. Also, want to show one more quick picture. Steve Pitt sent this to me up here. Steve won it, and he sent me the message. Hi, coach. I did what Brother Nick is said to do. Use ugliest mullet I had. Now that speaks volumes. And what I want to what I want to bring up, when Greg was on here last Monday, Greg and Bill, they were talking about fishing, and you know, Greg's out there all the time, and he talked about changing the pattern, and he, he, he was laughing, but he was really serious about that. Just find the ugliest looking thing you could find and throw it out there just to change the pace. You see what happened. Uh, Steve Pitts won the tournament doing that. So you get all kinds of, all these little things people talk about, they know what they're talking about on Panhandle Outdoors. There's a lot of truth behind it, a lot of experience behind it. So I, all these little things add up, make you a better outdoorsman. Congratulations, Steve, uh, and all the su Season of Hope people uh, on, on doing the successful tournament. Y'all have a great day today. Enjoy our beautiful outdoors, and God bless. Thanks for watching America's only daily outdoor TV show, Panhandle Outdoors with Winston Chester, featuring hunting, fishing, and other activities and information to help you enjoy the great outdoors. Join us next time for Panhandle Outdoors.